I, I went to to the doctor and he told me that actually it is colitis. Ulcerative colitis. Yeah, that's actually, and uh, I should make many things around it on colonoscopy or I don't know many things because I before that I had problem with stomach and I they treat me with many many things before a uh, long time ago when I when I studied that actually I have ulcers on my on my stomach yeah. and uh, then I, I I I did this ga uh, gastroscopy yeah on the mount and then actually they gave me uh, uh, these blockators for for uh, acids blockators and i drink it like i don't know one year yeah and then that that didn't help me and they just gave me some uh, some other drugs that actually uh, need to calm me down or something like that i, I got some symptoms uh, 3 years ago approximately something like that and actually in the beginning, that was like not something serious that the guy, I just like think something is wrong. I Maybe I, I ate something bad or something like that. But, uh, and I had some pain in stomach and after like a couple of days that stopped and actually I just continued to, to, to live my life normally and eat everything what I think that's good for me, of course. But always I was, sometimes I was like, somebody who really care about I don't know what I eat or something like that but actually I I never like stick to some things of course and then again I got this like uh, that this something like okay again it's I have pain and uh, and I I went to doctor and uh, they they just scan me or with yeah. the ultrasounds and uh, they didn't recognize anything and just like take some probiotics that everything will be okay and again and uh, things become more serious I got uh, several uh, 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 several stools in the, during the day and uh, uh, some cramping uh, pain and many things around it and like uh, I went to, to, to toilet like six times per day and uh, I have a lot of gases, a lot of uh, cramping, pain, mucus, and uh, different type of discomfort that influence on my uh, psychological side. So let me ask you this: What are your symptoms now? I have like, like this one, 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 one movement daily. One bowel movement a day. Y yeah. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Uh, Any yeah, bloating? Thank you. No. Any no cramping? bloating. No cramping. Uh, I don't have gases overall. I don't have them. No more gas. You're out. No more no. gas either, which was extreme. And then what it about was... any blood? Any blood? Any mucus? Uh, no, I don't have anything. And, and now <laughs> uh, I just like like I said, it was like before. I have I had like uh, gases. After gases, I, I I I had a lot of pain and discomfort. Yep. yep. Uh, energy level is much better energy of us yeah. way up you're sleeping good Wait. and i sleep i sleep now normally seven seven half hours and what about uh weight have you gained any weight i gained five five kilos that actually five kilos, that, so a little over 10 yes. pounds wow yeah, over. and you did all this from your home in where where do you live? In in Bosnia, Herzegovina, it's Bosnia. ex Yugoslavia. Yes. How quickly in the program did you start seeing symptom relief? First of all, that was like after like maybe two or three weeks, something wow. in, in between. Yeah. Now everyone I, listening, I, not everyone can be can not everyone can expect that they're going to get yeah symptom relief in two to three weeks. Vladimir came in, he knocked it out of the park. It's not the same for all of us, but that's really amazing to know that that's possible. Yeah. Yeah, after like two, three weeks, I I, I, I reduced like uh, gases and bloating. Yep. And that was like first step. The the, the hardest step was like to reduce like ty this type of discomfort. Yep. Th uh, of course, uh, sometimes now I have some some upsides and downs, but actually it's really rare. And now I'm continuing yep. to work on this to build like. Uh, my microbiome system better and to yep. to to help myself i i will just continue to live my life
in this direction not just like stop with this like okay i'm 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 now healthy and i will not do this anymore i will always uh, take take care about about myself in this way that was the the, the biggest issue because i'm really active from business yeah. perspective i'm active because i'm traveling yeah. almost every month somewhere yeah uh, and to find the restaurant or to find some some place that actually what i can eat yep um or i i was like so anxious and with in fear how to do this and energy level was like i don't know minus <laughs> no, nowhere yeah my- and uh, yeah now now i i i'm i'm running uh, trails and marathons wow. uh, and i ran like a couple of them during this time wow uh, 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 of course i traveled a lot of actually i'm more confident and what i can say really honest here it's like that i'm more conscious when i'm in bad shape for example in energy bad shape yeah you're more aware of what hurts your body yes and then i just like okay sometimes i can deal with it sometimes i cannot but i realized okay i'm in that shape okay i will just take calm down i will take some time i will just help myself i i have experience with this i'm more, more conscious what is happening around me and i i have now idea and uh, hope that actually will 100% will be better just continuing to go step by step how important was it when you came in the program to have someone like coach Armand to meet with you, answer your questions, customize your solution for you. How important was that? That was really really helpful and really uh, uh, they helped me Armand and Becky that that actually they helped me a lot of with with the with advice is sometimes you don't know you are confused uh, yeah. what to do. Uh, yeah. uh, first of all uh, when 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 somebody take uh, like use this Louis use that uh, you don't know how many times when you are confused too many things yeah it's, uh, in your in your head actually but after like after a couple of days you get some routine and then it's actually you build your yeah it's easier to figure out that that you can deal with this and of course how many times they're just chatting like should i do this should i do that or can i do this uh, what do you think i have this do you think that that can help me or that can yeah. harm me in any way maybe give me some confidence or information that help me to make decisions yeah. and if there's anything else you would like to say i know um i would love for you to, to speak in your mother tongue um mm-hmm. to anyone out there who's hurting and doesn't know if natural medicine is a scam or can actually work or you know they're looking to combine conventional medicine and natural medicine together you know mm-hmm. what would you say to those people out there who who um, need help and who want to achieve what you've achieved now mm-hmm. i would let say on my 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 uh, mother language uh ako neko ima uh, stvarno problema i ako želi da proba ja prvo stojim na raspolaganju da na, da uh, me ko- kontaktira i da vidi da stvarno su, meni je to stvarno pomoglo iako mi u početku to izgledalo uh, jako i zahtjevno i sve ostalo ali podržavam naravno da čovjek probava i ovaj i doktore ali no međutim ovo apsolutno ne može da našto, naškodi ja sam lično prošao kroz neko iskustvo koje mi je pomoglo da stvarno riješim problem na prirodni način bez da se maltretiram oko nekih stvari koje već godinama sam pokušavao da uradim. Zato evo, stojim na vas plaganju.